Hello folks, welcome back. In our previous video, we learned how to set up Sonar Cube on Ubuntu 18.04. In this video, we are going to learn how to integrate Sonar Cube with Jenkins so that every time you run a Jenkins build job, it is going to check with Sonar Cube for finding any uh, bugs or any code quality issues and whatnot. Okay, awesome. So let's get started, guys. So this is my website, coachdevops.com. I will be posting the link right below the video as well. Okay. So if you look at the pre requests, yes, I do have uh, Sonar Cube up and running, right? This is what we configured in our previous video. I also have Jenkins set up here as well. Okay. We are going to integrate Sonar Cube with Jenkins. So how to do that? Okay. So we need to install Sonar Cube plugin. Okay. So that is the first step we are going to do. So let's go to manage Jenkins go to manage plugins, uh, go to available tab. So type sonar cube here. Okay, so this is the plugin we need to install. So go ahead and then select that and then say install without restart. So this is going to install the sonar cube scanner plugin. So now this got installed. Let's click on to dashboard. So the plugin got installed. Okay, awesome. And then what we have to do is, uh, we need to integrate Sonar Cube with Jenkins, right? So what we have to do, we need to go to uh, Sonar Cube and then create the token. Okay, so what we need to do is, we need to go to Sonar Cube and then create a token. So how to do that? So let's log in into uh, Sonar Cube. See here, I already logged in as an admin admin and then click on the administrator, go to my account and go to go to security. This is where we need to create a token. Okay, so I'm going to say my token, click on generate. So what matters is this, we need to copy this token. Okay. And then once you copy this token, of course, you can also click on this, you need to go to uh, Jenkins. This is where we have to register sonar cube information. Okay, so go to configure system. scroll down see it this is the uh, place where we are going to you know fill in the sonar cube information okay so let me go ahead and then give some name okay i'm going to give this a sonar cube and then this asks for server url so let's copy the server url and then we will copy the token after that so this is the server url okay you should not have anything after the slash perfect and then um, you know, this is the place where we are going to mention the token, right? Let me copy the token again. And then I'm going to go ahead and then add that token here. Okay. So let me say secret text. Okay. So you're going to go ahead and then paste the token over here. And then in the description, I'm going to add a token added uh, today by coach. I'm going to say sonar cube right that's like a short form add and then we need to select that one okay see here this is the token okay so yeah so we have entered the name uh, url and then the token and we also need to check this as well whenever you do this this is going to be available for your jenkins job as a build environment okay build environment variable perfect and then select apply and save okay and then what we can do here is I do have uh, one of my uh, Java project here. You see here, I do have a Java project. What I wanted to do is uh, I want to, uh, you know, create a freestyle job in Jenkins. And then I would like to uh, run Sonar scan, okay, for the particular, you know, uh, application. Okay, so how to do that? So let's go to Jenkins uh, and then let's go ahead and then create the job. So two things we have done, right? We have created a token in Sonar Cube. And then we have registered uh, sonar cube information in Jenkins, right? And then the next step is, you know, we can go ahead and then create a build job, and then we can integrate uh, sonar uh, cube with that job. Okay, so let me go ahead and then create um, a small. Uh, let me go ahead and then create a freestyle job. So I'm going to say here my sonar scan job. Click on freestyle project and then say okay. And then under source code management, we are going to 
check out this particular repository which has that uh, java project here this has a java project so i want to run sonar scan for this particular project so that's exactly what we are doing right so let me go ahead and then enter github credential and then our branch name is main okay and then under build environment uh, sorry under build section we are going to use maven right and then we have already registered uh, maven information here and then we have to go ahead and then uh, sorry not this one we are going to add invoke top level maven targets and then select maven 3 and then the maven goal should be clean install and then sonar colon sonar so this is the maven goal for integrating with sonar cube okay all right and then go to advanced and then make sure you are giving the path of the palm.xml file right since my palm.xml file resides inside my web app right so i'm going to give the palm.xml uh, you know file path okay awesome and then we also need to select this option as well you see here you need to enable this also okay that's pretty much done right and then let's say if you want to uh, configure for uh, tomcat deployment and whatnot so you can go ahead and then you know if you want to uh, deploy Right? So you can go ahead and then provide that information, okay? Uh, but I'm not going to do that, okay? We just want to simply run the sonar scan uh, for this particular project, okay? So let me go ahead and then say apply, save, all right? So let me go ahead and run build now. And let's quickly see what, uh, you know, Jenkins is doing right now. As you can see here, Jenkins was able to check out the code it was able to build using maven right as you can see here right and then it is also able to run sonar scan i'm pretty sure we we should be able to see that wow see here so everything is done our build is success and of course right i can uh, you know go to sonar cube uh, by clicking on this link wow see here very good see here yes our uh, sonar uh, you know uh, scan is done and then it is also showing like three defects wow see here we are able to see the defects right and why we are able to see this defect let's actually see what is the issue right so let's go and click on this link see here why this is an issue wow see here so what this is saying is you know this is like a non-compliant code and then this should be the compliant code right for example if you open up uh, our index.jsp file wow see here this does not have the tag something like what you see here right so it is looking for you know uh, doc type html right so when we add that you know that should uh, you know go away and then let's look at this also yeah again these are also something similar to that okay and it is also expecting that we need to have something like this also right and then yeah so this says that you know title is missing right right so that's how you know you are going to integrate right okay anyway i'm not going to fix the defect you know if you are a developer you can go ahead and then fix it right by making a code change and whatnot right uh, but essentially you know what we have done is we were able to integrate uh, you know with uh, jenkins right using a free cell job but now let's say that you do have a pipeline how do you uh, you know run sonar scan uh, for your pipeline okay so let me quickly show you how to do that let me go ahead and then create a pipeline so i'm going to say my uh, let's see my sonar pipeline job and say pipeline and then say okay i'm going to quickly you know uh, create a scripted pipeline so let's start with checkout stage right Okay, uh, since our code is here, what we are going to do, right? We are going to generate pipeline code. Um, so let's go ahead and then, you know, put that information so that we can generate the pipeline code using the snippet generator. You want to, uh, you know, uh, you want to leverage the Jenkins, right? So we don't have to worry about generating or writing the pipeline script, okay? Let's copy this, 
let's go ahead and then put that over here right so that is the uh, code for generating the uh, sorry that is a code for checking out the code and then the next stage is you know we want to actually go ahead and then do build right so build for this uh, i'm going to copy the code okay i'm going to copy this code and then we also have maven right so let me copy this this is for declaring the maven variable and i have already declared a maven variable as maven3 okay perfect uh, so let's quickly go ahead and then add the next stage we are going to add the next stage which is nothing but code quality right so again it's very similar to this okay very very similar and you don't need to do clean install you just instead of install we are going to say sonar colon sonar and then we need to add one section here uh, we need to add this one because our uh, you know sonar cube uh, has been you know uh, defined under this variable right so we need to provide that if you are wondering where this is coming from i'll quickly show you uh, if you all remember we did register sonar cube under here right so it, it you know this is what we are actually using okay this is what we are using right this is a variable name that's exactly what i have it over here right so that's it right so that's our pipeline code so basically we have uh, three different stages we have three different stages check out build and then running the you know code quality scan okay so let me go ahead let me go ahead and then say apply save and then run let's run the build now all right wow see here we are able to check out the code and run uh, maven build and then we are also able to do sonar scan wow see here our analysis has been successful let's go ahead and then click on this one wow see here we are able to see the uh, report and then of course uh, you know uh, so this is like a overall code and this is like a new code uh, since we did not make any code change uh, you know it is kind of showing a zero box right okay so yeah so that's it guys you know that's how you can integrate uh, sonar cube uh, with jenkins and then you know you should be able to uh, run any uh, build job right using freestyle or pipeline thank you for watching guys